Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Amy Slayton Teary Before Arrest Vows to Start New Life In a preview of the upcoming season of 1000 Elb Sisters, Amy Slayton is seen breaking down in tears vowing to start a new life. Amy is struggling to contain her emotions while discussing her divorce from Michael Halterman. Slayton was recently arrested at a Tennessee safari park. She was accused of illegal possession of Schedule I drugs, illegal possession of Schedule VI drugs, and two counts of child endangerment. In the season premiere preview, Amy Slayton is shown talking with her sister Amanda Halterman. Amy says to her sister Amanda that she wants to get rid of her couches because they remind her of her ex Michael Halterman. She says, I want to get rid of these couches cause they remind me of Michael and I can't stand them and I want to get rid of them. Amanda replied to Amy, You're gonna have to make new memories here that show the bad ones out. You don't give yourself enough credit, you can do this. Amy has to learn to be strong in her divorce, but it may take her some time. The conversation between the ladies quickly shifts to other topics, such as mental health, physical health, and even Amy's appearance. Amy says that she is ready for a fresh start and that she wants to have her excess skin removed. She also says she wants to change her hair. Amy says right now, I'm just gonna focus on me and my mental health, my physical health, my outer appearance. I'm ready to change up the hair color. I just wanna get some new hair and get rid of all this excess skin. Amy goes on to add, I'm just ready to start a new life, and I need to have skin removal. I feel like a deflated balloon, so I'm excited to see Dur Smith, and hopefully I'll get approved for the skin removal. Amy Slayton is also revealing her weight loss secret, and she admits that it is having two toddlers. Chasing them around all day does keep her extra busy and on her feet. Amy is happy to spend time with her kids, but it can be a lot.